Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video, we're gonna go over how to use the new depth control feature while in portrait mode for the new iPhone XS, XS Max, and the upcoming XR. <laughs> The 2018 lineup of iPhones contains a new feature called depth control, which will give users the ability to adjust the bokeh or background blur in a photo using the built-in slider. So from here, users can adjust photos f-stop from f1.4, which will give you the most background blur in a picture, all the way to f16, which essentially gives you no background blur whatsoever. Once you've taken a portrait mode photo on your iPhone XS, XS Max, or the XR, all you have to do is open up the photo, select edit, and then the depth control slider will automatically appear at the bottom of your screen. So I found that anywhere from f2.8 to 3.5 is the sweet spot and will probably yield a better looking photo. If you start to go real low, like f1.4 to f1.8 area, you'll notice more of the subject being blurred in weirder areas of the photo and it just looks a lot less natural. In the iOS 12.1 beta, which was just released a few days ago to those still running the developer previews, the depth control slider is now able to be adjusted in real time before you actually take the picture. So this gives you the ability to see exactly how the picture will turn out before you actually take it. So to do so, all you have to do is tap the new F stop button in the top right corner. And from here, you can adjust the slider to your liking in both portrait and landscape orientations. You can still adjust the level of background blur after the picture has been taken, just like you did before. And this feature also works for both the front facing and rear facing cameras in portrait mode. So let us know your thoughts on the new depth control feature in the comments section down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.